Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh, and today I have a quick product review for the Cutting Edge 22 Long Rifle Copper Spun Bullet. If you're thinking about getting into this, you don't want to miss this video, so stick around. So the cutting edge bullets is something pretty new in the 22 long rifle market. There have been ELR guys out there swaging their own bullets for years, but I think this is the first time you can really commercially get a copper spun bullet for a 22 long rifle. Cutting edge offers these in 32 grain, 42 grain, and 50 grain copper spun bullets. And as you can see, this bullet more directly correlates to that of what you might see on a center fire rifle. So these do have a higher VC and these are something that you need to hand load yourself. So let's get these boxes open and take a look at what we got inside and what you can expect to get out of this kit. All right, so the first box I have here is actually the dies. There is a seating and crimping die. And I will say all this stuff comes very nicely packaged and they come in these kind of cool little prescription containers. But when you bust them open, you are going to get a shell plate holder and that is going to be for the 22 long rifle specifically and on this particular one you are getting the seating die so if you do get this and you're taking a look at reloading these uh, first thing i'll tell you is you don't need to put this in your press at all just put the projectile into the casing and set it down in here you'll set it per the manual and you can just set it right on your table and kind of push and seat the bullet so no press required for this guy all right, out of the second bottle, the second die is the crimp die. Now you will need a press for this, so any single stage press will work just fine. They do have good instructions on how to set this up and it is relatively easy. From my experience with these, these have actually been pretty high quality dies. I kind of expected them to be gimmicky and cheaply made and just very crude, but they're actually pretty nice dies. I have no complaint about the hardware. Um, it has all worked as it should for me. The one thing I'll say about these guys, if they did nothing else right, they got the marketing right because they have some really funny marketing stuff. Now let's open up this other box and in here we'll have the components, which is the most interesting part. Free tip here and cutting edge, if you're watching this, make this thicker. This is the optional shell holder plate and it's eight bucks, it's pretty cheap. It's just like a Delrin kind of plastic, but those holes in there, they are not deep enough everything in here just falls around so either make it tighter or make it deeper or do something but this is pretty much useless so hopefully cutting edge you'll see this and you can make a correction of this and make it actually usable i would love to pay eight dollars for a shell holder if it actually works so please 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 fix that for these guys the first component you're going to get in the box is going to be primed brass this prime brass is actually cci brass if you're wondering that's what it is for a lot of us you know we're head spacing our rifles based on you know what the brass is so cci is going to have a larger rim thickness and it's pretty soft it's pretty good brass the next thing the most important component that you're going to get are going to be the actual projectiles now these are the 42 grains and i have found them to be extremely consistent and very nicely done they are very uniform very consistent they look really good and i've had zero issues with those and obviously i've already made and tested these so no issues as far as any of the components or hardware go so let's flash back to about a week ago when i started testing these and i'm going to show you some of my group results now cutting edge recommends that you use a 10 twist or faster barrel for the 42 grains i got a nine twist Lilja. I do think that is actually pretty accurate. I had no problem stabilizing these, um, but go ahead and take a look at the groups and then we'll come back here and we'll talk about what I really think about this kit and if it's actually a gimmick or a game changer for us in the 22 long rifle ELR world. All right, so you see you got my ear pro today because these are not gonna be subsonic. And I've got 1.2 mils of elevation dialed in. Now, yeah. that was easy enough. Ejected easily, bolt close is good. All 
I think they're just vaporizing. All right, so 1323, 1340. Let's delete these. We're gonna get straight into it. Here you see I've got these separated. These are the same powder charge and same overall weight. See what kind of standard deviation we get. Get nice and comfy. Let's shoot. Let's shoot at the middle. We'll just shoot at one of those middle targets. How about that? So let's move targets, and you know what? Let's go ahead and put a little left in it. Put a tenth left, two tenths left, and we'll go, we'll go a tenth up. See if we can get some of these centered up here. We'll go to the target above it. I'm happy with that, man. I mean, th those are sub MOA, even with the uh, varying powder charges. This is a tenth of a grain less of powder. And we will go, let's go far top left. See how these roll. We're gonna have to go look at that. That is crazy. Man, that's crazy. So as you can see from the results there, that I actually was able to maintain some good groups with this and get some good results out of it, but I was not able to get consistency. So what you're not seeing there is the two or three other times I went with the same exact loads that I finished that group testing on and got crazy results all over the place. Um, that actually led me to call someone who's been testing these for quite a while and he was actually able to confirm what I was starting to find was being my issue, and that is powder. So powder is gonna be huge on this. You are gonna need to be able to measure powder down to the hundredth of a grain. If you have a typical reloading scale, then this is probably not gonna work for you. Now, most center fire cartridges, if you load down to the tenth, most people probably think you're being kind of anal about it or you don't really need to do that. Here, you really need the hundredth. One tenth of a grain is like 5% of the total load of this. So if that 5% total load can just swing back and forth, your extreme spread and your standard deviations are just never gonna be consistent enough to make this work. So you really need a very good powder scale for this. Um, like I said, you really need something that can resolve down to the hundredth of a grain to really be successful in this in the ELR. Now, if you can do that and you have that set up or you don't mind buying that powder scale to accomplish that, I think you'll have very good success with these. The BC is higher, they were flying a lot better for me, and I was getting very good results when I got lucky enough to have the powder consistent enough to not have crazy SD and extreme spread. So if you can control that part of it, and you're looking to do some ELR, I think this is a very, very good option. It may very well be the only option on the market. It is the only one that I'm aware of right now. So I was trying to make this just a quick product review, so I'm gonna wrap it up really quickly. You're gonna get good dyes, good components. The brass is CCI Prime Brass, so if that's an issue for you or something you don't wanna deal with, then this probably isn't for you. The projectiles are very uniform and very consistent, but you are gonna need a very fancy powder measuring scale to make this work for you and have any kind of real success. Now the guy I talked to, he's shooting the 50 grains. He is working on load development for some very crazy distances with a 22 long rifle, so I'm excited for him. And if this is something you want to play with, honestly, I think it is worth doing it. Just keep those things in mind. But anyways, 
That's a product review in the bag for me, guys, for the cutting edge bullets for 22 long rifle. So for those of you who've been around the channel for a while, you know our main intent here is to help you guys make informed decision on precision rimfire stuff, hoping to start doing more of these product reviews. Now, I was not given this by cutting edge. I bought this. I'm not getting any sort of affiliate. So whether you buy this or you don't makes no difference to me. I just want you to have a solid idea of what you're getting into before you buy it, because honestly, I didn't. I'm not disappointed. So hopefully you're able to take this information and make an informed decision on whether you want to buy these or not and cutting edge if you're watching this please fix this thing it's just not practical just make it a little thicker and this thing will be good to go even if you got to charge a dollar or two more anyways i appreciate you guys we'll catch you on the next one